Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to merge an audio and a video track together using one of two free programs, Windows Movie Maker or Lightworks. Um, now I'm a little bit rusty with Lightworks still, it's a new program, I'm still getting used to it, and there's lots of kinks I have to work out with it and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty simple to use once you get past the interface. Um, so today I'm going to be merging this mp4 video that I recorded a little while ago about a half an hour ago and as you see it has no audio whatsoever I'm going to be merging it with this audio track which I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear this but uh... those are the gunshots that go in sync with the video uh... if you're not able to hear that, I mean you still have still saw the waveform, so, yeah. Um, so this is about editing, it's not about the actual hearing it for now. Um, I mean, I heard it, but still. <laughs> Alright, so, um, so I recorded this sound with Audacity through voice meter, um, which I'll provide links for all these programs in, down in the description if you want to use them and try them out and stuff. Very, very handy tool this is. Um, and then I recorded the game audio with Shadow Play, but you could do it with any um, game recording software, such as Fraps or something else that um, you can mute all of sound coming from it and record just the video. Um, and it's not that hard to remove the audio track off a of video, but it uh, keeps it nice and simple and streamlined. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm going to be opening up Movie Maker, where I already have the video imported into it. There will be a lot of loading time um, for the video to process. Uh, Windows Movie Maker does that. It will process the video before you can do anything with it yet. Um, so depending on the length of your video and the quality of your video, that will vary. Um, but for this two minute long video, it took about a minute to process. So, yeah. So uh, here I have just the video. The audio track is not yet implemented. And uh, what I do to put the audio track in is I just <coughs> bring up my audio and drag it right in, drag and drop right there. So now, as you can see, the waveform is right here, visible, and the gun is shooting. And this is because I started recording the Audacity before I started recording uh, the video. So there will be some delay. So you're going to have to learn how to um, cut so um, uh, the way you do that is you move the marker, this little black line, and make sure you don't have the video selected but you have the audio selected, the uh, little green track down there. And you move this uh, to where you want to cut it, right click on the audio track and set start point. And that will move the audio track back and um, so let's see how that fared. So obviously the um, waveform was way past when I actually started shooting the gun. It's very important to get these markers as well, otherwise it'll be very, very hard to actually sync up your audio and your video. So for uh, Arma, I just shoot the gun a few times in the beginning of the clip to get the audio in sync with video. Very handy to have these markers. So I shot it once there, about 2 minutes and 43 seconds into the video. So I need to get about right there, uh, right there probably. I will uh, set start point and there we go. That is actually right on point. So um, it might take a few tries to get it exact and you may have to undo a few bits uh, with control Z or going to um, I'm not sure where the undo button is, probably somewhere around here, but the uh, shortcut is Control z for most video editing programs to undo, but um, yeah, if you ever need to undo, just do that, and yeah, that's right on point, great. <laughs> so that's basically how you do it with that. Um, Alright, so now we're going to move on to Lightworks, and this is one that, uh, like I said, I'm still a little bit rusty with, so I'm not entirely sure of all the... Uh, 
shortcuts and stuff you can do with it. But um, when you start up Lightworks, you're going to see a screen like this, and you're going to have a uh, create a new project here. You just enter in name for your file and uh, frame rate. This depends on like if you know the direct frame rate you want it to be or something or the uh, frame rate of the videos and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and do auto since I'm only working with one video and its frame rate's uh, mostly 60 <laughs> frames per second. So I'd stick with auto, it's going to auto detect the best frame rate. Um, and create. Alright, so now this is going to bring up some files to import. You can search your computer for uh, a file that has the f uh, videos that you want to import. Uh, but I already have this set up to go directly to with the videos. You go ahead and click on your video and click import. And it's going to go ahead and import the video. Uh, this takes far less time to actually um, import than it does in Windows Movie Maker, but it, uh, it's a little more difficult to get the hand uh, uh, hang of. Alright, <coughs> so once you have it in here, um, I'm going to go ahead and get the audio in here as well. Just go ahead and drag and drop like you did with the uh, file in Windows Movie Maker right into this bin right here or yeah right here. Let's go ahead and import that as well. So next what I do is I select both of select both of these and I just move them into a bin right here. And so now I've moved them into a bin, as you can see. And this is just uh, makes it easier for testing. So if you or uh, editing, so if you have lots of stuff in here, you can just move them to a bin. You can make a whole bunch of new bins and stuff. But uh, yeah. So yeah, you can make as many bins as you want to just store your uh, clips or edits or anything. Um, so next what you want to do is go ahead and click this button that says create a new edit when you have over it. And it's going to bring up these two new screens. Depending on how many edits you've made in the project, it'll say different numbers and stuff. And uh, this is basically the video track and the audio tracks here. And this is the editing screen, the preview window basically for the uh, video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the, uh, not the sound actually, the uh, video into the edit screen here. And it's going to see you have that red highlighted box and I'm going to drop that there. And so this is the video, if I zoom in, um, this is the video that I recorded without the audio. That went a little far in. And you're going to get this like space of like empty footage. So it's best to kind of yeah, it's kind of strange how it does that. Like I said, I'm still not sure of the kinks or the uh, stuff about this uh, software, so I'm not sure why it does that. Perhaps someone can tell me why, but um, yeah. So I've got the video in there, and now I want the audio to go in there as well, so I drag this from the bin that I made. I'm just go ahead and paste, paste it right there. And uh, as you can see, the waveform is showing up on there as well. If I zoom in a bit more, you can see the where I shoot, 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 shoot. And so it was about 2 minutes and 43 seconds in the Windows Movie Maker, so right there I wanted to get to. So as you can see, I have to delete a lot to get there. So about right, maybe there. And what you do is go ahead and deselect the video track so you're not placing a marker on it, you can place an out mark, and so disabling that, you don't place a mark on it, you place a mark on these two audio tracks. Um, then you go to the beginning of the clip and place an in mark. And then, <coughs> what you want to do is you want to uh, click this button here that says delete the marked section and close the gap, which will move this up to the beginning. So I'll go ahead and do that. And you'll get these, which basically are telling you, hey, you desync the video and the audio, um, but, you know, we're trying to sync it back up. 
because, uh, yeah, so you can go ahead and ignore this. It says shift click to accept, so I'm going to shift click on both of these. And let's go ahead and see how I did when I was putting that together. Actually, that was pretty close. Um, it could do with a little bit more editing, um, a little more tweaking and stuff to get it perfect. But for the sake of tutorial purposes, that's basically how you do it. And um, if you're new to this program and you don't know how to export your video, you can go ahead and use this yellow arrow button here. And you can export it directly to YouTube or uh, you know to a folder. And uh, you can name it here. And yeah. <coughs> So basically that's how you uh, s sync up an audio file with a video file using these two free programs. Again, I'll be linking these in the description of the video down below or to the side or wherever you see it when YouTube changes the layout again. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's basically it. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this uh, and thought it was helpful, go ahead and leave a like, comment what you thought was wrong or bad with it. and. I know I'm not used to tutorials or something like that and stuff like this. Um, so uh, it's probably not the best narrator, but go ahead and just uh, leave me some comments down below. You berate me, I don't care. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. So thank you for watching and have a great day.